Hello, here we go again. I think many of you want to see me press some sheets with my homemade press. So I think we should press something now so you can see the results. And yeah. Uh, I'm a guy in Finland, but I have an American flag on the wall because I got it for free when I was a teenager. Uh, it's nothing to do with politics. If I want to be a politic guy, I'm just going to write Trump and Putin on the wall. But that's not the case. I'm just liking the look of the American flag. And basically, I'm also using the American language right now. So if you are okay with me having this flag, I won't take it down. But if you're crying about it, I will take it down eventually. So let's start off where we left last time. I brought in some sheet metal, some rusty old stuff. These pieces won't be used in any project, so yeah. But yeah, uh, first, what kind of pressing ditch do I have? Let's put that up. If you wonder why I have a tarp in the background there, it's just for to get a better picture of the thing here. It's so much crap on the wall, so. As you saw last time, I had this C beam or C channel. I, uh... I cut a little bit off this edge, so. And then I have 40 millimeter steel rod. These are meant for hydraulic cylinders. So they are crumbed and uh, <laughs> hardened. So it's really hard. As you see here, they are loose, so you can slide in and out. And the ID with this is uh, they are adjustable. So if you want to have a wide ditch, then have it like this. Or if you want to have a narrow ditch, you just put a flat bar here between. You can get it as narrow as you want. So some wood piece would would also work here too, I think. Now this time I will just have it uh, on the widest. But to get them to, to not roll, then I put the washer here. I can't do it with one hand. Yes, there's a washer now in the bottom and as well as here. Okay, but uh, So this table is adjustable this way and up and down. You want to have it in the same height as this. Yeah. So look at the sunset. Nice. Let's start this up. and the hydraulics. Okay, let's try this piece first. Aha! Take this.
Let's try this longer piece now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. It's so fun. This thickness is six millimeter. So what's six millimeter? Uh, Oh, it's so fun. Masterpiece. Now should I try something else or? It is working much better than I first thought and but I will see when I start pressing full length sheets and full white and thicker also. Here I have a flat bar that's like 15 by 50 or something. Yeah. Mm, now we can hear some force. That went easy. Now you see that I could have the table here as support, but yeah, it's handier to not have it now. It's the table is mainly for carrying the lot of weight and when you are putting a big sheet here so this is also a good thing then I can open it pretty much so if I'm pressing or bending a box or something 
then it's really handy to, to put, open this up. And in worst case scenario, I can just take the bolts off and loosen these edges off. So, yeah, yes. I just want to show you here what I'm doing. I'm uh, building a bush hogger uh, chain, uh, chain, chain machine. <laughs> I will, I will write the correct name for it, but and show a picture. Yeah, but uh, so basically, this is a three-point hitch connection. And then you have the side shifter here that is gonna be with a hydraulic cylinder from here to there. And these these beams, they are going to be, they are not going to be at floor. They are coming up in the middle here of the frame. So these arms, they will shift to left and you will be able to hog bushes and grass and crap uh, from ditches with the tractor and here comes a long power takeoff axle that spins a gearbox here and the gearbox is 90 degrees so it will go there and here I will have a box like 1.5 meter something box and there will be a plate like a flywheel uh, with two chains. And as you can understand, the chains will do their thing and the tractor will drive that way. And yeah, so, so here is going to be 40 millimeter pins and there also. And those pipes, i am uh, already started to, to turn down here in the late. So it will be 44 millimeter inside here. So I will put these or I will have a little, I will have a slightly wider bearing to push here inside. So, yeah, so I have a little bit lating to do. So this pipe is going inside the box tubing also there. And yeah, the pins are at floor. And yeah, and here comes a cylinder also that will lift and lower the cutting box so I also want to say hey to all new subscribers I'm a small guy in Finland that do these kinds of works so if you're interested please follow along and we will make our own channel here with some scraps, scrap steel and scrap people no <laughs> you are good people I think but yeah, I will see you in the next video, goodbye.